What are you doing? You're right in the middle of the road. Do you realize how dangerous this is? <sighs> Come here. Oh, buddy. Okay, we gotta get you to where you were going. That direction. Come on. They say that the country roads of West Virginia will take you home to the place where you belong. And while that might be true in the iconic words of legendary singer John Denver, these country roads actually cut right through the home of its native animal species. In fact, roadways, no matter how scenic, are actually the most hazardous threat to local wildlife in all states across the nation. It's heartbreaking to comprehend but thousands of animals are struck and sadly lose their lives to vehicles every single year. And in the spring, turtles, yes, adorable little turtles who are on their way to lay eggs, face the ever-looming threat of car tires. All right, hazards are on. Is he alive? He's alive. Oh, oh no, he doesn't look like he's been hit. That's an old no. injury. So we are in West Virginia. We just actually got into the state. It hasn't taken long for us to find some wildlife. Today there's a lot of turtles actually moving, fox turtles. And we're gonna do you a little favor. Hopefully you stay out of these roads, but it's very important that you don't interfere too much. You wanna place them in the exact direction they're going. Easiest spot is to place it right here. And uh, yeah. Good luck. The eastern box turtle is one of the most common reptile species in the wild and wonderful state of West Virginia. And every year between late May and early July, they are on the move. This is breeding and nesting season, which keeps both the males and females in a constant state of locomotion. However, as a turtle, that motion isn't exactly speedy. This time of year, you can see dozens of box turtles on the crawl and doing their best to cross roadways. If you're a good turtle Samaritan like me, there's a good chance you will stop your vehicle and help a turtle in need. That's a turtle. Yep, another turtle. Yep, it is a turtle. All right, I'm going to put my hazards on and then I'm going to pull over to the side. Okay. Okay, go ahead, go. You are right in the middle of the road. This is the most dangerous spot that a turtle could possibly be hanging out. This busy roadway, look, we've got a car coming right here. All right, so this box turtle is headed in this direction across the road into the forest. And what we're gonna do, wow, this is the biggest one that we have seen. Pick this guy up, look at that, not even tucking into the shell. That is a perfect box turtle specimen right there. All right, Mario, you good? It's headed this direction towards the woods. Here come cars, let's get over here. This is probably the one to do a presentation with. Look at this, not even tucking into his shell. What a brave little turtle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now, if you were to ask me, what is the field guide perfect specimen when it comes to the Eastern box turtle? This one, without question, would be it. Now, let's talk about safety when it comes to helping a turtle across the road. Oftentimes in the past, I've taught you guys the right way to move a snapping turtle, but here in West Virginia, there are box turtles all over the roads. You always wanna pull your vehicle to a stop, put on your hazard lights, and make sure that there are no cars coming in either direction. Move quickly, pick the turtle up gently, and then move it exactly in the direction it was headed. Even if it's a water turtle, like a painted turtle, a blandings turtle, or a snapping turtle, if you see a body of water on the side of the road from where it was coming, don't place it back in that water. It's likely a female on her way to lay eggs. Eggs. Now, when it comes to box turtles, they also have a very small home range. So if you see one of these turtles crossing the road, you don't want to pick it up and take it home with you or move it to another location. They are very territorial. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, Coyote, how do you know that this is a male box turtle? The males actually have some very distinct features. First of all, their eyes are oftentimes very red in coloration. So go ahead and zoom in there on the eyes of that turtle. You see how beautiful they are bright red, and then the forelimbs, which are the front legs, are often very vibrant. Look at that bright orange coloration. 
such a proud and handsome turtle. Now, when it comes to the shell itself, the plastron, which is the bottom of the shell, if it's a male, is concave. That's when they're breeding with a female, they can mount up on top of the female and hold themselves in place for that breeding purpose. I just love the design of box turtles. And you can see, you're not even tucking into your shell. That's perfect for us to be able to look at your features. You see that hind leg? You see those long, sharp claws? Those are very unique. Box turtles are excellent at digging. And they will forage through the environment looking for food. These are opportunistic omnivores, which means that they will feast upon anything they come across. It can be plant matter, it can be dead animals, but they specialize in eating small creatures like worms, insects, invertebrates, arachnids, make the perfect prey for a box turtle like this. Now, one thing that makes the box turtle very unique as compared to other turtle species is its shell. Now, it gets the name box turtle from the shape of the shell. The shell is very box shaped if I hold it like that. It does have a roundness to the top of the carapace, but very square in design, especially if I hold it like this. Now, the box turtle shell is unique in that it is hinged. Very few turtle species have the ability to completely tuck themselves into their shells. Box turtles are one of those species. Now, we have featured the Blanding's turtle in the past, which has a partially hinged plastron, but the box turtle specifically is capable of tucking its head and its legs. Let's see if we can get you to do that. You see that? Tucking completely into the shell. Look at that. All the way tucked in. How cool is that? Now this works as a defense against any potential predator. So a raccoon, a coyote, a mink, a fox, anything like that that would make a meal of a box turtle is not able to get into the soft parts of the reptile to make a meal of it. However, when it comes to a vehicle, the weight and the power of a car tire can easily crush this shell. So the biggest danger that a turtle like this faces out here in the environment is actually man-made systems like roads. And this time of year, when you have box turtles moving around frequently, their biggest threat is, of course, cars. You've got to be more careful when you're crossing the road. These turtles tend to stay to forested areas. You'll often sometimes find them in meadows, anywhere that there's a good amount of cool shade and leaf litter for them to bury down in. You'll even sometimes find box turtles hidden underneath logs. Now, a painted turtle or a snapping turtle, a spotted turtle, a blanding's turtle, all of those species spend the majority of their life in water. Box turtles will go into the water, but oftentimes it's just to cool down or sometimes to actually relieve their bowels so they can go to the bathroom. So if you ever see a box turtle, don't place it into deep water. They do not have webbed toes, so they can't swim and can actually drown. Now, one question that I do oftentimes get is, can turtles walk out of their shells and then move into another shell as they're growing and getting bigger? No, they cannot. No turtle species actually leaves its shell. The box turtle specifically is unique in that the way that its shell grows over time, the scutes, which are these little protective coverings on the back of the carapace, grow with the turtle over time. Now, a species like a painted turtle, as it grows, those scutes shed off and then continue to grow underneath. But the box turtle keeps its scutes its entire life. And you may be looking at the shell thinking to yourself, well, it's just bone, right? It's solid. The turtle doesn't have any feeling in that shell. No, that is not the case. The carapace is actually very vascular, so it can feel touch. It can feel heat. And if the carapace is injured, it does feel that pain. The other thing that's unique is that the spinal column is actually fused inside the back of the carapace and all of the bone structure is encased within that protective armor. This is a very old turtle, a grandfather of the forest, and they can live close to 100 years in age, especially if they're in captivity. And as long as this turtle can avoid predators and avoid things like roadways, it has the chance to live to nearly a century in age. But that is the biggest threat a reptile like this faces here in West Virginia. A man-made structure like a road is the true danger that an elderly turtle like this faces. So the next time you cross a road, either do it quickly or try to find an area where you don't have to cross at all. Sound good? Well, how cool is this? Saving a number of different box turtles off of the roads here in West Virginia and getting the chance to admire this very handsome turtle. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Well, that's one more box turtle safe off of the road and into a nice, dense, forested area. Okay, little guy, you be safe out there. A turtle is very unlikely to survive the weight and powerful impact of a motor vehicle tire. And as stewards of this planet, we have a responsibility to look out for these friendly reptiles, especially when they are trying to cross roadways. 
Turtle saving is a hobby, but don't forget the safety for yourself and other motorists is always the first priority. The world is a better place because of turtles, and with each one saved, there's a bright future for the next generation of these incredible reptiles. The box turtle is a very safe turtle to interact with, but what if you need to save an angry snapping turtle from the roadway? Check out this episode where I show you the proper technique for moving a mud dragon out of harm's way. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.